Welcome to Brown's Rod and Custom, your home for street rods, muscle cars, and Volkswagen content. This is my dad, Big Ron. He's our body man and fabricator. This is my beautiful wife, Megan, our editor-in-chief and supporter. And this is me, Adam, the designer and mechanic for our projects. If you find our videos helpful, like and subscribe for more content. Hey guys, welcome back to Brown's Rod and Custom. Can you guys see me? Yes, you can. So we got two big boxes in, one way bigger than the other. I think this box is the windshield glass, um, which I'm guessing I probably should open it to make sure it's not cracked. But I think this is windshield glass. The other box, I'm not sure. Both are from the, the thing shop. Um, I didn't really order things from the thing shop. I ordered it from Mike, who, if he needed something, he got it from them and sent it to me. So that's where we're at there. But let's see what we got here, kids. I've never been a fan of these uh, boxes. I won't lie, the logo is pretty cool. I don't know if you guys can see it the right way here. The logo is pretty slick. I kind of like it. The thing shop with the thing. You know it's your parts when it's coming off the FedEx truck. That's for sure. It, uh, so we can pop these without going to the hospital. Yeah, this is the windshield. I'm going to leave it in here, guys. I'm not even going to open this. This is the windshield. Let me go grab the other box. I'm going to set this out of the way. Okay, we're back. This is box number two from thinkparts.com. Mike, the, uh, the thing shop. Let's see what we got. Again, gonna try to do this and not go to the hospital. Not an easy thing. Wait for it. Popcorn! Oh, yeah. Okay. Lots of stuff. Sun visors! My sun visors are here, guys. I gotta unwrap them, but they're here. The door weather stripping is here. Left door, right door. The door weather stripping, it's here. That's huge. There's all kinds of stuff in here, guys. I'm gonna set these off this side here. The tail light wiring harnesses. That's important because if you can see this on that side of the camera, I'm working on that. Headlight wiring, plug with wire. That's very important. The relay, emergency turn signal relay. My wiring stuff's here, boys and girls. That's huge. My wiper blades with the rubber inserts. They're here. That's great. This is the sun visor retaining set four with screws. That's fantastic. Uh, the hook for the backrest mount set of two. Awesome. i got to figure out where those go and put them in. The half set of top latch. The latches for the, that go from the, uh, for the hard top, that go from the uh, windshield frame up, the latches there. We've got them in stainless steel. That's awesome. That might be all of it, boys and girls. That's what we got. So, get this box out of here. To recap, 
we've got a very important box of goodies here. Okay, so first and foremost, this is the last piece of the wiper system that we needed. So that, that is here, we can hook that up. And now that the windshield frame is painted, uh, tomorrow we can go ahead and assemble the windshield frame in the hood, what's in the hood and buff it, and then assemble all of this. That's really gonna be interesting, I'm excited for that. Um, the other things here, I needed the headlight plugs with the pigtails. We have them, so now I have everything I need to hook up my headlights except for bulbs. I don't have bulbs yet, but I got everything else. Tail lights. You guys saw we have the new tail lights. These are your pigtails, your wiring harnesses for the tail lights. They come from the back of the tail light down into the engine bay. Huge. Now we can hook up tail lights. The, emer the uh, emergency turn signal relay. Huge. One more thing we can wire up. Sun visors, brand new sun visors from the thing shop. They're in here. I'm not going to open these until I put them on, but I'll put them on tomorrow and show you. These are the retaining clips, um, retainer set with the screws. Everything we need to put the sun visors on, right there. These uh, hard top clips, I guess they're convertible top and hard top. Um, huge for us because we're going to need to mount this hard top on here soon and I can go ahead and mount these on the windshield frame. Huge. More parts for the back seats to keep getting that all together which is great. And something we really needed, the weather strips for the doors. So these go around the, if you open up the door, the inside of the door all the way around it, this is what keeps the rain and everything out and the wind and all that jazz. If you're driving a thing, I'm not sure why you'd be worried about rain and wind, but by God, it's got them. So that seals it up, brand new. It's a good day, guys. We uh, Somehow this worked out where we painted the windshield frame, which is exactly what I wanted to do. We painted it, and now all the parts showed up just randomly. So uh, just by happenstance, now we're in a prime position to get the hood and the windshield frame completely assembled on the car, all of that, which puts us way down the road. It's a good day. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and start installing some of this stuff. Thanks for watching Brown Tribe and Custom. Please like and subscribe. We're working hard for you to get your content every day, and uh, car's looking good. Really excited. I think we have 20 days to the Street Rod Nationals in Louisville. It means we've got 20 days to get this car done, so I better get on it. Have a good one, guys. Hey guys, welcome back to Browns Rod and Custom. We got another box. So, let's see what we got. This one is from thingparts.com, Big Mike. Let's see what we got. I have no idea. We just got a box a little bit ago from the Thing Shop that had door seals and all that. You guys can go back and watch that video. I think it's in the boxing on it. Screws for the horn contact. Okay. We got a newspaper. I love how he packages shit. All right, there we go. That's the dash panel. Um, the other one. Now we got to take this and clean it up, get it ready for paint. That's exciting. <laughs> oh, new headlight rings, boys. New headlight rings. Look at that, Ron. That's going to look good on there. Okay. There should be another one of those in here somewhere. Let's see what we can find. That is without a doubt the other one. Okay, these are 
maybe the seats I'm not sure I have to look and see what we got here but weather stripping Cigarette lighter? Cigarette lighter? Okay. Oh, wait, oh, there's a bunch. A whole bunch. Okay, hold on. Let's get into this here. We can now put the door handles on. We got the gaskets. Huge. Looks like we got the taillight bulbs and plugs and all of that for the taillights. We got the door pocket uh, weather stripping. So we got that. Looks like our new uh, canceling ring with horn. That's fantastic. We can put the steering column together now. What's this? Actually, what is this? Let's start. Okay, so this is another door handle for the rear. I have one that had some pitting on it, and I asked him for another one. So, another door handle for the rear. And, okay, this is the... Uh, this is all the bolts for the steering, okay? So the bolted up to the steering shaft, into the steering box. All of that, all brand new, right there. Two more brake hoses, because I forgot that I already ordered them. So we got plenty of brake hoses. If anybody needs some, I'll iron them. Yeah. More uh, grommets for the reservoir that I already ordered and forgot. I've got a relay. Oh, God. Okay. Uh, steering column uh, grommet. No, this is the the bracket that holds the steering shaft at the bottom under the hood. So that's here. We've got an emergency flasher with the new uh, with the new cover. Keep them together. That's there. We got the uh, the European style. So this is the European plug that I believe goes one of these. I think it's this one. I think it goes there. So that goes there. This one here. That's a cigarette. This one goes here. So kind of get an idea of what we're doing here. Um, one of these get holes gets welded up. This one here doesn't actually, it isn't a thing. So there's that. I've got, okay, so I've got the four bolts for the door handles. That's huge. I've got the clips I need for the dash panels. Plate for back seat headrest, for rear seat backrest. I don't know where they go, but I know I needed them. And then two big screws. I'll figure it out. I'm not sure what these are to, but I will figure that out. And then this actually goes to my headlight switch. Uh, the one I had was the bigger style. It was this. This here was bigger. So my new one, it would. I didn't. It didn't come with one, but my old one that I had had the bigger one. I needed the small one. So that I can actually put it in the dash panel. So lots and lots of cool stuff here, guys. Lots of things we absolutely had to have. Uh, lots of weird things that we had to have that, you know, just needed to get here. Um, and I'm sure there's more that I'm missing. So there's a lot of stuff still coming. Um, but that kind of gives you a rundown of this box. So guys, I've got a whole lot of work to do. <laughs> all of a sudden, it went from not a lot to a ton. 
So uh, as each box gets here, I have to get it on the car, and I've got 20 days to do it. So I'm going to stop talking and start installing. And uh, I'll bring you guys along for some of it and uh, anything interesting. And, uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Thanks for watching Browns Rod and Custom. And uh, please like and subscribe.